Chapter three, part F of How to Tell Stories to Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. From these four instances, we may perhaps deduce certain general principles of adaptation which have at least proved valuable to those using them. These are suggestions which the practice storyteller will find trite, but to others they may prove a fair foundation on which to build a personal method to be developed by experience. I have given them a tabular arrangement below. The preliminary step in all cases is analysis of the story. The aim then is to reduce a long story or to amplify a short one. For the first, the need is elimination of secondary threads of narrative, extra personages, description, irrelevant events. For the second, the great need is of realizing imagination. For both, it is desirable to keep close logical sequence, a single point of view, simple language, the point at the end. End of chapter 3 of How to Tell Stories to Children and Some Stories to Tell Recording by Sean McGahee, ducttapeguy.net